few weeks ago, Adobe made a small change to the way that we save copies of our photos. So if you had a raw photo open and you wanted to save a copy of it as a JPEG, or maybe open up a JPEG photo and you make some changes to it and you want to save a copy of that. And they, they changed that functionality. Some people didn't care and some people lost their mind over it because, and I can understand anytime you, you make changes to the way people save an image, especially if you're doing that hundreds of times a day, if you've got you know, a lot of photos that you're working through, all those things can add up and it's just a big change to something that you know people have been doing for a long time. But good news is, is we have a way to change it back. So I'm gonna jump in here. I wanna show you, I'll show you very quickly what the change was to begin with, because we already did that. We don't need to talk about it again, but more importantly, I'll show you how you can update Photoshop to get your old save as functionality back the way that you used to. And for those of you that hated the fact that it now, it now added the word copy, you'll be very, very pleased to know there's also a setting that we can use that will take that away. All right, let's go dive in here, Photoshop here. So when you would go under the file menu, we had this save as feature. And the problem was a few weeks ago, they changed it to where you didn't have certain file format options available, one of them being JPEG. And people were very used to being able to open up a raw photo, make some changes in Photoshop and then save as and save a copy as a JPEG, all right? Well, then they went in here and added this save a copy feature. So what could feasibly happen, and then I think it's important to at least understand what could happen, so maybe you don't do that even if you revert back to the original behavior, is you open up this photo of a girl who's obviously very, very happy about this change as well. And I just go in here under adjustments. I'll just, let's say you do some quick adjustments, a little bit brighter, a little bit more contrasty. You come up here, you go down here to save as, and what would happen is, is you could very literally overwrite your original photo if you weren't really paying attention to it. And that, that's what happened. I mean, Adobe's getting tens of thousands of, of complaints of people overwriting their photos. So what they changed is now you could go down here to save a copy and it would append the word copy and you'd be able to do JPEG and all of these things, which they had taken out of save as. So people were really upset that they had to every time now go in and get rid of the word copy under all that you know, every single time you save a photo, which if you're doing it a lot, could definitely amount to some time. Okay, so here's the deal. Update Photoshop, you go to your Creative Cloud updater uh, app over here and you should see an update from Photoshop. If you don't, you'll probably want to uh, take a look at restarting your computer. And of course, all update questions should always go to directly to Adobe. But once you update Photoshop, I believe it is version 22.4.2. Okay, that's the newest release that has this, 22.4.2. Once you do that, you can now go into your Photoshop Preferences file handling, which I believe Preferences is under the Edit menu on a PC. You go over here to File Handling, and you're gonna see two new little checkboxes over here. So the old Preferences window for this used to look like this, and it did not have those checkboxes. But the new one now says Enable Legacy, Save As, and then it also says, do not append copy to the file name when saving a copy. So you can go ahead and turn one on. Um, in most cases, when you turn the first one on, it's gonna tell you it's automatically gonna turn the second one on. You don't get an option for that one. So you go ahead, check those check boxes, click okay. And then when you go up here to the file menu, nothing really has visibly changed, but now when you go under save as, or even save as a copy, uh, when you go under there, number one, you'll notice all of your normal settings are in here. You can choose JPEG, which it did go away at the time, but it's also not gonna append the word copy under there. It also won't do it if you go to save a copy anymore. Even if you go to save a copy, it's not gonna put copy at the end of that. Also, if you've ever opened up a photo or tried to double click and open a photo and opens up in some random program when you think it should open up in Photoshop, I've actually got a video on this. It's essentially you've probably installed a plugin or some other photo editing application that's taken over the file association. Really common problem. I do a lot of these little public service announcement videos like this one and I have a video specifically on that one so you can go in and change it so that when you do double click an image file and you're used to opening up in Photoshop, that it doesn't open up in some other programs. So I'd invite you to go check that one out as well. 